Okay, um, so I'm in my Grand National here, and I'm just going to show how uh, Windows 7 will work with XFI and Fast Classic. So there's my Fast Classic box, and it's connected. And I just want to make a mention that uh, this cable here, which is a uh, USB to serial cable, uh, you need drivers for it. So make absolutely sure that your laptop is connected to the internet when you actually uh, go to plug this in. You don't need to have it connected to fast to install the drivers on the cable. You just want to make sure that you get the drivers installed before you hook it up to fast. Otherwise, you'll be rather disappointed. So, um, yeah, this is an old clunker laptop that I had, and I just decided to throw uh, Windows 7 on it just to see what would happen. So, I'll boot it up so that you guys can actually see that it is Windows 7. This is a beast of a laptop. I wouldn't recommend getting something like this for your car. Draining the inverter and everything. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Okay. Got fast. Go up to communications, set up. I already know that this one is installed to COM3, so I'm going to make sure that it's set to COM3. I'll go over just to make sure we'll have a real time logging set up. I have a dash on 14. Do sensor manual trigger because I guess dash 14 has absolutely nothing on it, so whatever, we'll just do that. Okay, so still not connected. Go ahead, connect, and there it is, it's connected. And there's my volumetric efficiency table. And it's working. So I'll uh, shut the light off here real quick and um, record a log. The only thing I've found that I don't like so far, and it's probably just a permissions issue that I can resolve somewhere, is that uh, it'll forget your settings every single time you shut off CCOM. So you have to reset it every time. This car go by. We'll scare him or not. something so that is fast classic on uh, windows 7